Hey, my name is Jamie Aaron, and today I'm gonna show you five iconic blues licks from blues guitar legend. In this lesson, we're gonna look at five different licks from five different iconic blues guitar legends. B.B. King, Freddie King, Albert King, Otis Rush, and Albert Collins. Each of these players have their own unique way of playing the blues, and we're gonna look at some of the nuances of each of their playing styles. So typically, playing over a blues, we really just have three chords, 12 bars, and about five or six notes at our disposal. So how come so many of these different blues guitar legends sound so different from one another? Well, a lot of it has to do with their touch, their tone, their articulations, and the way they approach bending the strings and the vibrato. So we're gonna look at some different players so you can get some of these lines, phrases, and sounds into your own playing. And all of these licks are gonna be over a C7 chord. So you can use these in a blues in C. That way you can really hear the difference and try them over a one chord vamp or over a C blues, a jam track, or something you put in your looper, and you can hear how they all sound. So they're all gonna be in the key of C. Here's an Albert King lick. <laughs> So while Albert King is known for bending, this really common phrase, this iconic lick, doesn't really involve much bending. We're playing out of C minor pentatonic, and we're gonna start with a B flat. I'm using my pinky on the 11th fret of the second string, and then going down to the G, that's on the eighth fret, second string. And this is a little bend with my third finger, 10th fret, an F, little half step bend, then to E flat, then to C, then back to E flat, then back to C. And we're gonna finish the phrase out by playing the G that's on the 10th fret of the fifth string. Here it is one more time, slow. And you can see when I hit that E flat, I really drill in the vibrato with my first finger. Here's a phrase inspired by B.B. King. So a lot of B.B. King's playing is done in what people have later referred to as the B.B. box. It's the third pentatonic position. But B.B. would really just hang out on the top three strings and actually use the sixth. So in this case, A, and make it more of a major pentatonic sound. So for this lick, we're gonna slide into that A, 14th fret, third string, and then do a bend. That's a whole step bend from D to E with your third finger, 15th fret, second string. And then we're gonna hop that third finger over to the 15th fret of the first string, G, and then back to C. And we're gonna give it that famous BB King butterfly vibrato, fast vibrato. So you just take that first finger and really drill it into the strings quickly. That's the note BB's famous for. You could hear that one note and instantly know it's BB King. And sometimes actually when I go to that note on the 15th fret, I'll use my pinky, but you could hop your third finger over. Then we're gonna Take our third finger, put it on the 15th fret, and bend. So we're gonna do a minor third bend. We're taking this G, and we're bending it all the way up to B flat. Then back down, G, F. And then we're gonna bend on the second string, the 15th fret, up a whole step to E. And then back to C. So here's the second half of that phrase slowed down. So you really get more of the major sound here, and that's what makes BB's playing so sweet. So here's the whole lick. A little faster. You can always finish any BB King lick by going up to the highest octave of the root, like this C, playing it as you slide down. All 
All right, next we're gonna take a look at an Otis Rush lick. Here it is slow. So we're gonna start out in the first position of the C minor pentatonic. So we're gonna take this F and bend like we're bending up a whole step to G. But then we're gonna hit the G. Eighth fret, second string, and then we're just gonna hop over to the eighth fret, first string, C. Real common little lick. Then to B flat, then to G. And then we're gonna bend this B flat up to a C, but we're gonna give it Otis Rush's signature vibrato, which is a really fast vibrato. I'm looping my thumb around the neck to really get a good grip on this, and it's just a really fast up and down kind of shaking vibrato. And one thing that's unique about all these different blues players is they all have a unique way of playing vibrato. It's kind of like their individual stamp or individual fingerprint on their playing with BB. Right, it's that really fast vibrato up here in the BB box pentatonic position. This one, it's a bend with some vibrato once you reach the bend. So you do the bend, and when you reach the top, it's that fast vibrato. So here's the lick slow. And here it is faster. All right, here's a lick by Freddie King. This one, we're gonna to move to the second C minor pentatonic position. It goes like this. All right, so we're gonna start on a C, 13th fret, second string, then to E flat, first finger, 11th fret on the first string, and we're gonna use a little chromaticism. So fingers one, two, and three, frets 11, 12, 13. So that's E flat, E natural, F. Little passing note. And then we're gonna bend up a whole step, that F to G. And then F, E flat, to C. And that F to E flat, frets 13 to 11 on the first string, will be a pull off. And then we're gonna do that again, that little pull up. And this little phrase here will be C to B flat, another pull off. And then with my second finger, I'm playing a G on the 12th fret, third string, with a little vibrato. A lot of vibrato, actually. Here it is slow. A little faster. I had to switch to my Telecaster for a lick by the Iceman, master of the Telecaster, Albert Collins. It goes like this. All right, so Albert Collins played with a capo, usually around the eighth fret. He played with his fingers, and we're not gonna use the capo for this, but we're gonna approximate the sound he gets. So what I'm doing is I'm playing the C, fourth string, 10th fret, and then immediately after, playing the C an octave higher, 13th fret, second string, with a lot of vibrato. And this is Albert Collins' signature note, the way he hit the root. Telecaster, bridge, pickup, super hot, a lot of vibrato, and so he would play the lower octave, and then immediately after, just jump to this higher octave. He could play that note all day, and I'd listen to it. And then, B flat, little pull off, from B flat down to G. Then the F to E flat. So then for this last note, you're gonna take your third finger, you're gonna put it on the 11th fret, sixth string, E flat, and with your thumb of your picking hand, you're gonna pop, slap that string. So he used his fingers, he got that real percussive kind of sound. So the whole lick, slowly. Try with your fingers. See if you can get that really percussive finger popping sound. Thanks for watching. I hope this lesson was helpful. Go ahead and try these licks in different keys. Try them all over the neck to really get them into your playing. 
Another great way to get these blues vocabulary lines into your own playing is to just listen to these recordings and play along with them and see what you can pick up from the greats. Thanks again for watching. My name is Jamie Arrett, and I'll see you in the next lesson.